Want to create eye-catching animated videos without any animation experience? Well, you're in the right place. Because today, I'm going to show you how to make professional-looking videos using nothing but simple drag-and-drop tools. And a little trick with stock GIFs you probably didn't know existed. This is beginner-friendly, fast, and honestly, a total game-changer if you're creating content for social media, explainer videos, or promo ads. Stick with me, because by the end of this video, you'll have your own clean, pro-looking animated video ready to post. Welcome to Zero to AI. So let's jump right in and check out the demo video we'll be recreating together today. Tired of taking selfies? Are you stressed in front of the camera? At photoclick.com, we got you covered. Update your LinkedIn profile with a professional photo or update your dating apps and have people literally fall in love with the new you. The possibilities are endless. Sign up now and get started. Pretty cool, right? And don't worry if it seems a bit overwhelming at first. By the time we finish this tutorial, you'll be able to create the exact same thing. The way we're going to do that is by using something called stock GIFs. You've probably heard of GIFs before, but stock GIFs are professionally designed animated images created by motion graphics designers. All you have to do is drag and drop them into your Canva project, and that's it. So there's plenty of GIF animations that you can use like characters, different ethnicities, genders, icons, everything that you need to build your project. Unfortunately, Canva doesn't have those in its library. So this is an external resource. Canva has some amazing stock assets, but it doesn't do that well when it comes to stock animation. But no worries, I'll show you the best online source to find high quality, professionally animated stock GIFs at the end of this tutorial. But let's move forward in the meantime because I already selected my assets here. So I already have everything prepared. Of course, before you start any video animation, you'll need a script. And for most explainer style videos, you'll also want a voiceover and maybe some background music. I've already taken care of that and I've broken down the script so I know exactly what animation should appear in each scene. All the planning is done. Now it's just a matter of bringing everything together. So let's jump right into it. I'm here in my Canva account. I'm going to create a new design. Just type video and click on the first option. Now, we need to do is head over to the uploads panel on the left hand side and start adding our assets into Canva. Let's begin with the audio. I'll grab the voiceover and the music and simply drag and drop them right here. Next, head over to the videos panel. Technically GIFs are animated images, but for some reason in Canva, they show up under the videos tab. Just drag and drop all of your GIFs into Canva. Give it a moment, and once that's done, we're ready to move on. Let's start by adding the music. and the voiceover. Now, one thing to keep in mind with Canva is your timeline won't automatically extend beyond five seconds unless you add more pages. So to fix that, I'm just going to add a few extra pages. Now we can see our full timeline. Let's hit play and check it out. Tired of taking selfies? Are you straight? The first thing you'll notice is that the music is way too loud. To fix that, just select the music track in the timeline and bring it down to about 11. Tired of taking selfies? Are you stressed in front of the camera? At photo now, let's click on this button when it changes to this thing on the bottom, so not this on top. The other one, you can actually select this slider to zoom in a little bit. So we can clearly see the timeline and the waveform of the audio. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to time each particular page or scene to the voiceover. Tired of taking selfies? Are you stressed in So this would be the scene number one. It ends here. I'm going to grab this, resize it like this, and let's keep playing. Are you stressed in front of the camera? At photoclick.com, we got you covered. So you can see on the timeline, all the pauses are when there's a break in the waveform. So here's another pause. and would be another one, and so on. And now, let's start adding the GIFs. Tired of taking selfies? 
So first we're talking about taking selfies. Let's go to the videos tab here, and I have a GIF animation of this character, of this woman with a selfie stick. I'm just going to put her in the middle, resize her so she fills up the whole frame. And let's see what we have. Tired of taking selfies? Are you stressed in front of the camera? All right, then we're talking about being stressed in front of the camera. So obviously you want to continue our project with the same character. So we have another animation of the exact same character being stressed. I'm going to put her in the middle in the next scene, resize her. It makes sense if she's in the exact same position, right? Because you want to have some continuity from this to this. Tired of taking selfies? Are you stressed in front of the camera? At photoclick.com, we got you covered. So that's pretty cool. So in this next scene, we're introducing the company, but this is an imaginary company, so it doesn't exist. We have this logo animation, which is just this cute camera icon. So I'm going to add this here a little bit higher. Now I want to go to the text tab and add a new heading, which in our case would be the same of the company or the website, basically. So it was photoclick.com. Obviously, you can change the font to whatever you want. Let's choose this font. All good. We can proceed. At photoclick.com, we got you covered. Update your LinkedIn profile with a professional photo. So we're talking about LinkedIn, and you want to make things a little bit more dynamic. So for this scene, we will actually use the same character as before, except this time she's dressed a little bit different, because now we're talking about a professional environment. So we have the same character, but dressed for the office. I'm going to move her here to the right and on the left, because we're talking about LinkedIn. I will add a logo animation of LinkedIn. Update your LinkedIn profile with a professional photo. And there you have it. Let's see what we have next. Or update your dating apps and have people literally fall in love with the new you. Next, we're talking about dating apps. So now we're going back to our main character, but dressed a little bit more casually because we're not talking about work. We're talking about the dating apps and we have her on the phone because that's what she's doing. She's working on the apps and I want to switch things around here. So we have the main character on the right icon on the left. So to spice things up a little bit, I have her on the left and then have the icon like a heart animation to show the dating aspect. I'm going to add it here on the right. I think it's very nice balanced composition. And let's see how it looks. Or update your dating apps and have people literally fall in love with the new you. Let's keep things interesting here. In this next scene, we have two male characters of different ethnicities. And have people literally fall in love with the new you. It looks great. They both like our main character. Now let's keep things moving. The possibilities are endless. Sign up now and get started. We're kind of getting close to the end of the video, where it says, the possibilities are endless. You always want to end your video in a happy note, because now our main character has found a solution. The possibilities are endless. Sign up. So here actually, I'm going to just duplicate this one right here for the end because I want the same logo animation and instead of the name of the company, we're just going to have the call to action which was sign up now to get started. So right click on this scene duplicate page and then I have to drag and drop it here at the end. I'm going to double click on the text. So like all of it and just write sign up now exclamation mark. Once done, Click share at the top and click on download. Tired of taking selfies? Are you stressed in front of the camera? At photoclick.com, we got you covered. Update your LinkedIn profile with a professional photo or update your dating apps and have people literally fall in love with the new you. The possibilities are endless. Sign up now and get started. So you have your final video. As you can see, anyone can achieve the exact same professionally looking results with drug and drop simplicity by using stock GIFs. Now, the big question is where you can find professionally animated stock GIFs. You might be able to find some free GIFs images on Google, but those are usually GIFT memes or low quality amateur GIFs that are not suitable for our purpose for this video. I have used Render Forest to get those GIFT animations, and you can use it as well. Render Forest offers a free version. And that's a wrap for today. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more simple, smart tutorials just like this. This is Zero to AI and I'll catch you in the next one.